before I get started, let me give a shout out to my Patreon, my patron, I'm sorry, Derek Talley for sending me the story. I will leave the link in the description. So in this image, you have the picture of one of the biggest creeps you will probably ever hear about by the name of James Arbaugh or, Ob or Arbo, or however you pronounce his last name. He is a missionary from Virginia and he is currently in U.S. custody on charges that he abused Haitian boys. Are we really surprised? Nope. Because if y'all remember, it was a story that came out last year, I believe, where it was another white man who went over to Africa on that same type of mission type of thing like this guy and was sexually abusing the boys over there. That's exactly why they don't like when, when black people say nothing really good can come from a white person doing these missions over in Africa or any black populated area because these sexual uh, deviant stories always seem to pop up eventually. And it's not like they just recently happened. They have been ongoing for a while. It's just that we're just now hearing about it. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is read this article and see what else we can gain from it. Federal authorities have arrested a Christian missionary who allegedly told a counselor in Virginia and investigators that he had sexual contact with boys in Haiti. In affidavits, David said James Arbo, formerly of the northern Virginia town of Stewart's Draft, took advantage of Haiti's extensive poverty to abuse the youngsters. Arbo lived in Haiti for at least a decade and describes himself on a blog as a missionary with a group called Walking Together for Christ. Notice that a lot of these missionaries or these abusers always claim to be Christians. And then it makes you wonder why a lot of black people are still Christians. But I mean, hey, if you want to. This is what I think this is what they found their so-called religion on anyway, to be quite honest. The affidavit filed in Virginia by a special agent with Homeland Security investigation says the counselor reported Arbo to the authorities. The affidavit accuses the missionary of grooming and they, hash, and they put quotations around grooming or having sexual contact, including oral sex with at least 21 boys. And it ends off with it wasn't immediately clear if he has a lawyer. What lawyer would want to take that case on? 21 boys and he's been there for a decade? Then they said at least 21 boys, which means there's possibly more than 21. They just know it's not less than 21. This guy is sick as hell. And I always say that people who do things like this to other people, especially kids, they need to have and suffer the worst torture ever. It's not enough just to take them out because that's too quick. You need to think torture slow painful torture something that'll linger on for a while and then if they choose to die die slowly y'all let me know what you think about this sick ass man down in the comments